If you have not been seeing my reactions to this series, you need to go back to my videos and watch them. I'm telling you, this series is Listen, I like real life shit. I like to talk about sensitive topics and just have conversations. Anthony O'Neill uploaded a video called Flirting 101, What Guys Really Want, Chase or Be Chased, Part 4. I've never chased a man before in my life. Obviously, I'm gay as hell. But we're gonna see a woman's perspective and a man's perspective. I still have a lot to say in it, so are y'all ready to react? Because I am. Let's get it. In this generation, we are seeing ladies pursue men and proposing to men. <laughs> oh, you're ready. Is there anything wrong with a strong-minded woman pursuing a man? Could you pursue a man? I want to say... <laughs> Here we go. Hashtag single life. And I is single, so I have a lot to say. And we still date. That's not the issue. Come on, man. Like it's a text message. You don't know how she took it. That's the problem. That's the answer right there. Anthony responded incorrectly. I got a question. <laughs> what? And I'm gonna lay this out there. For one, I think the video was hilarious. So I need to step up just so I can please her. <laughs> so that was the recap to part three, which I had a lot to say in. So go watch that video. Could you pursue? Hey man, I want to say I couldn't do it, I, and I think that sometimes it's so natural to want to, to be like, okay, well, let me help you. Like, let me just get to the point. Let me. But something that I've been especially learning recently mm -hmm. is like um, from married couples and even from my mom. She's just like, whatever you start doing, mm -hmm. it's gonna be ten times out of marriage. And so unless you want to continue this then you need to start, because like, then guys get used to it, and however you start in the beginning, they're like, wait, you changed, or wait, you didn't ask me this before, so why are you asking me to do this now? Like, I just don't want to even get into all that. So I'm just mm. like, how about you start off, mm. and I'm gonna practice letting you do your work, mm. and then I'll meet you halfway, but we need to start something. Because I've been told like, well, like, I'm so direct, so I'm like, this is what it is, let's not waste time, but then when you've been shut down, when you've done that so many times, or have been taught from even, not even men, but like other women that, hey, that's not the way to do it, you need to do this. It's just like, well, how can I be straightforward and get to the point and understand, you know? I'm not crazy about it. I'm not proposing to no man. <laughs> I'm not, mm, mm All you gotta do is just, my, my aunt, she says, you light the fire, and if they- That's the thing, too. I have to agree with her on that. I don't think a woman should propose to a man. Let me explain. Not because of the gender roles. To me, it's like a lot of men, and I'm not saying all, a lot of men aren't ready yet. And you wanna make sure they're ready. And. I think this is why we leave it to the men to decide when to propose because when they propose, most likely they are finally ready, <laughs> okay? Because if you left it to the woman, they would get married right away. And I'm just speaking generally. I'm not saying in most, I'm not saying in all cases. Of course it matters and it depends on who the person is. Match the fire, then that's cool. If they dims it, you kind of match so y'all are like always ebbing and flowing with each other versus let me keep flaming this thing, let me keep, and he's like, like, you know, so you don't mm. want to be trying to work it and ignite it when, and then you're doing all this work for no reason. I think deep down, women want to be pursued. I, I, do you think all women want yeah. to be pursued? Mm -hmm. Is there, is there a lot. something wrong with a woman clearly showing she's very much so interested? What Is that look like? Pursuit? No, I wouldn't say that's pursuit. What yeah. would that look it's just, like? It just looks like you showing a genuine interest in that person. Yeah. How does that look to well, you? Yeah. What does yeah. a woman clearly showing interest look like to you? Looks. Well, how do, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> the line is so blurred. You know, guys say they, they, they said, oh, you know, we need something. But then what they describe they don't know. being pursued. What does a man do to you that shows that he's interested in you? He compliments me on my appearance. Mm -hmm. He compliments me on who I am at the core. The effort, the phone calls, the text messages, the um, asking for the dates, just the effort. Being, and he asked me out. <laughs> like that. So take, 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 take one, one of those, those yeah. is, is a man being interested because I think a gentleman will compliment you on your beauty. Mm -hmm. And I think a man will compliment you just in general. Mm -hmm. I think the asking you out is definitely that because I think, man, we get in trouble. You look beautiful. Oh, I man, you was amazing today. Oh, he's trying to holler. No, I wasn't. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Right. That's true. I was just trying to be a gentleman and just compliment <sighs> you. And se- I'm serious. Like, yeah. I've had that That's so true. much with me. I'm like, you're beautiful because you are. But I'm like, I mean, I should be able to say that in a respectful way. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the last one. I think that's a man trying to holler at you. Do you think that in the light of the Me Too movement that that has shifted a little bit? I feel like guys Mm. are less prone to say things like that now because they're scared Mm -hmm. that they're going to get misinterpreted. Yeah. I'm Mm -hmm. thinking the corporate space, yeah. But I mean, if I'm just out there, no. Right, right, right. If I'm out and I see you at at an event or um, at a party or out at dinner and I say, man, you look beautiful today. A social gathering. Right. Nothing. Nothing at all. I, I do that. All the time. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing Honestly. at all, but I, I noticed that a lot of women, <laughs> they take it to the extreme. When, when a man compliments them, they roll their eyes like, oh, here we go. He's hitting on me. And so I can understand a, a man's perspective of being more cautious when complimenting a woman. But to the woman's defense, it's like they get it so often from men who, who are actually hitting on them and they continue to pursue it. And it's unwanted where they get to the point where they are easily annoyed by it even trying to approach him. Exactly. exactly. And I make sure it's known, like, hey, you know, I'm not trying to come off too forward or like I'm trying to approach you or pursue you, but I just want to compliment you today. Mm. Because there's nothing wrong with that. Because honestly, I just feel like a lot of women need to hear that. Yeah. Or you not know, even need to want to hear that. Want to yes. hear that. You know, yes. On, yes. on a regular. Yes. Because, yes. I mean, it is, it is nice. So, yeah. mm-hmm. it shouldn't have to be a significant other you hear that from all the time. Mm. And I'm going to tell For you sure. something from a man's perspective. When you see a woman, that you don't even know and she just looks amazing, sometimes you just want to say something. Exactly. You know, you, you she may be out of your league or whatever it may be. I don't <laughs> know. But shot, bro. I just shoot the shot. shot. <laughs> but, but, you, but it goes back uh, to understanding, like, reality. Mm-hmm. We, we operate within reality. And reality is we are good guys mm-hmm. sitting in this room. Mm-hmm. For mm-hmm. every one good guy, there are five Terrible Bad guys. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm. So how many other terrible dudes have told her she looked good today? Mm-hmm. Ah, facts. I might be that last dude she see today, and she don't want to hear that no more. You know just, what I'm saying? Just so like I said, we have to look at it from both angles. And I mean, I'm not telling you not to <clears throat> speak on how you feel, mm-hmm. but you gotta also, I mean, you gotta understand both sides of it. So yeah. I, I'm just that type of person where I. I'm very calculated in the moves I make. Yeah, she may but, not even be approachable. Yeah. At the you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I, I read body language. I mean, you, you guys say y'all are trainers. Yeah. I've been a trainer for 15 years. From the moment somebody walk in the door, I know their body language and it tells me something. So, it's, I mean, yes, speak to the young lady, but if she walking through there trying to take them high heels off, <laughs> she don't care about your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, that's just that's just my observation of the situation. I would like to answer your initial question. Yeah. As somebody who I've been told can be intimidating, I think I will probably have to pursue on a certain level because, mm. first of all, men mm. aren't pursuing me, and that could be for a lot of reasons. But I, I've been told that for a man to feel comfortable in pursuing me, that he would want me to say something. And so I don't know what pursuit looks like necessarily, but I think that I'm going to be forced to actually let somebody know, hey, I'm interested in you, without sounding like a dork and saying, hey, I'm interested in you. So I get her from a lesbian experience. Um, the last person I dated is what I consider a boss, right? She makes uh, good money. She's got a great career going. She's got her own house, she's got her own thing, she's very independent, strong, and she can come off intimidating. I found her attractive, but I just thought she was out of my league, like there's no fucking way. So I considered her a friend. I had to wait until there was an open door from her side. Like I wanted to be sure that she was interested in just a little bit for me to pursue it. It it can be difficult for a person who is considered intimidating because the fact of the matter is, those intimidating people don't think they're intimidating. So it's harder for them to really have someone to really, really pursue them. My thoughts. But is that pursuit? I don't know. Deep down inside, guys want to be pursued too. Exactly. No. Whoa. Who? So no. no. Speak hey, no, I won't speak I won't, no. I won't necessarily say that guys hey, want to no, be pursued. I, I, I don't want to know, bro. No, I, gotta, I, 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 I know where you're going with you. I'll just, I'll just want you to not throw subliminals my way. Exactly. All the time. Like, you want to throw hints, yeah. throw something direct. Let me know. Man. Exactly. Yeah. Give an example yeah. what that looks like, because we don't know. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, that's pursuit. Huh? That's not pursuit. 
It is. Pursuing it is. is you, you're coming for me. He's saying, yo, she's saying, and correct me if I'm wrong, she says, yo, you're handsome. I would love to get to know you a little bit more. That's right. clear. That's, not that's direct. No, that's, that's, that's not pursuit to you. That's, not that's pursuit. direct to me. Once you do that. I consider that definitely pursuit. She's being straight up and direct of what she wants with you. How is that not? You leave it up to me to exactly. pursue. Exactly. She opened the door. No, she initiates. What? <laughs> they need your. <laughs> they need you to accept it. What do you mean? The yeah. interaction. She didn't There's open the pursuit. door, no, bro. No, no, she no. just unlocked it. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I'm about to open the door. So and now, what I do with that information is, uh, is up to me. Exactly. I don't have to pursue that her after pursue? that. That's but what, that's if I choose you, to do that, that now, that's the day. now I can it. court her if I choose to. So in exactly. that situation, you're saying that is a good thing for a woman to do. Absolutely. That doesn't feel fair. If you come after me, I'm honestly, I'm I'm not going to feel like a man, like because I was created to hunt. You know, what does coming after someone look like? Yeah. You, well, so, yeah. you guys still, men, you guys are still not answering the women's question. What is pursuit to you guys? Answer the question. That what is conversation of? They don't even know. <laughs> you're handsome, I'd like to get to know you. Do the version of that that's pursuit. <laughs> yes. Yes. Cool, right. In my DM. So, hey, when can we go on that date? Okay. Okay. So, actually um, making the plan. Like, yeah, she's, she's, she's doing all of the talking, trying to initiate it. Right. And I'm like, y'all, okay. uh, or not responding. Okay. Like, she's coming. Just, just in my opinion, and it's just my opinion, you know? Yeah, right? This is not y'all's. I'm just saying, be clear, because I think in this generation, men, we, when it comes to dating, we get it. We get it the worst. Because if I say, you're beautiful. Thank you. And Mandisa <laughs> is who I'm interested in two months down the road. When, she, when I say, Mandisa, you beautiful. I want to go. That's Gizmo. Give me a second. But you just started with me a oh. month ago. Exactly. And so then now, because it's like we can't even, it's like we get it the worst. So we want to know, all right, that you are interested. All right, cool. I'm interested too. What does this look like? Let me take the lead. I was shocked to hear from the male perspective that some guys are actually open to one pursuing, but to an extent, like hearing how a woman can still show a bit of interest or show a little bit of initiation um, while le letting them do some work versus, oh, I'm just going to hide in my little bubble and wait for him to notice me where he's like, okay, she's complimenting me, but I don't even know if that's interest, you know? So in our head, we're like, hey, we're hinting, but you're not knowing anything. But... Brothers, y'all got it good because y'all talk. Oh, he shot all at me. Well, he said last week that I was beautiful. Oh, he liked my picture on IG. <laughs> and so it's like with us, no, nah, we were just trying to be gentlemen and admire wow. your beauty. Exactly. Am, I, am I wrong? Am I right? No, Brothers, what would no you you're right. That makes right. sense. Yes. There are, I think there are, first of all, the world is filled with beautiful women. Right. So just and because I God. compliment you <laughs> does not mean that I want to pursue you, marry you, have none of that. Mm -hmm. I'm just admiring what God gave you. Okay, that's it. We can move on from that. Are you sure about that? I don't think that's true. I think when a when a single man, sometimes a taken man, likes a picture on social media, they usually try to hit them up in the DMs shortly after, especially if the woman entertains it. They're quick to message them. Uh, so come on, let's be real, fellas. Now, like I said, nothing wrong with you telling a man, I think you're handsome. I like the way you dress. Those compliments, okay. She, she's, she's, that's she's taking that though. interest. So wait yeah. a minute. So when a woman says to you, I think that you're handsome, you think that's subliminally her saying I'm interested in you? No, 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 you that that compliment is nice, but yeah. it's not yeah. clear. You're right, it's not clear as well. Yeah, that's not clear. No, what I'm saying? Uh, I, I, I yeah. Like yeah. yeah, I think that's, that's some bullshit. I think if a woman wants to tell you that, you will automatically think that she's interested and you will try to see what's up. Stop playing. I come in the I feel like from a man's perspective, if a woman told me, because I get a lot of women who tell me, you have some nice smelling cologne, mm -hmm. you know, and I would say thank you. And if I wanted to run with that, so I'm initiating her saying, you know, thank you, um, and, you know, give her a compliment and initially start a conversation to actually lead to like a date or something that could happen. But then what if... Somebody's 50 years old coming and, oh, you have some nice men along. We're not even thinking about age or just, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I want to say this. When it comes to cologne 
and fragrance. If someone's complimenting you on the fragrance, do not take that at all as them hitting on you. It has nothing to do with you. It has to do with the product, <laughs> okay? So, yeah. One of my mentors says pursuit, she said, or he said, pursuing someone is not just about making plan, it's plans, it's about how you have intentions about asking them questions mm -hmm. about who they are. Mm -hmm. So to me, when I'm trying to decide and trying to sort out, is someone pursuing me? Mm -hmm. I'm not just looking if he's making plans, I'm looking if he's asking me questions more across the table. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. and, but you uh -huh. also have to give women a little bit of credit that all, without men always asking out or all the other messages, all we can do is collect those, yeah. like you said, and go, okay, he said these four things yeah. to me. Right, right, I don't right, know what right. to do with that. Yeah. I'll just hold it loosely. Right. But he didn't treat me like we're bros. Mm -hmm. right. And I've never met him before, so so I'll follow yeah. on IG. Yeah. You know, so I, so I think it's a little bit... It's picking up on signs. Don't just go off that first sign because you could misinterpret that as something else. You need more than one. Once you collect it all, like, okay, maybe this person is hitting on me. Let me give it a shot. The, what I hear you say is you've had experience with women who misunderstood what you were doing. Mm -hmm. And that's totally fair. Mm -hmm. uh, healthy women would say... We collect the experiences and we wait and see what you do with them. Right, yes. right, but right. we notice yeah. versus going, oh, none of that meant anything. Yeah. It's going like, well, Anthony said those four things and did that one thing. Mm. All right, I'm here. So I understand what you're saying as far as men and women pursuing each other. I do have a question. How you said that, you know, typically you would like to be pursued as women, mm -hmm. um, just because that's that's nature. But do you think that there is a fear of rejection there from mm -hmm. women? Uh, do, you, do you fear of like being rejected by a man so therefore you will not pursue him because you don't want to face that? Yes. It's possible. Yeah. Now, why is that a problem when men face rejection every day? Yep. Not a problem. Why is that yeah. such a fear for you? If you know he can very well pursue you or try to, you reject him, and he's supposed to take it as, okay, this is what it is, brush it off, on to the next. Why is it such an issue for you? I don't think that's stopping human. women from asking. <laughs> I'm, asking. I'm just asking. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think everybody fears rejection. I don't right. think that's why women don't ask men out. That's right. not the, that's not high on the, when when girls sit around and talk about men, mm -hmm. nobody's going, well, I would have called him, but I'm super, I, I, don't, I don't want him to say no. That's not, it's not, a, my friends don't talk about I that. I think it's an, I, I think it's one of the reasons, but I think it's just a natural thing. I think it's, it's part of nature. It's like, when it comes to male and female animals in all species, it just seems like the male pursues the female. I just think it's naturally like that. Talking about the fear of rejection when it comes to asking men out, we're going like, I want him mm -hmm. to ask me mm -hmm. to do that. I think it comes down to how we view dating. Like, are we only viewing it for the reward mm -hmm. or are we viewing it for the process? I think when the guys start voicing some of their fears going into relationships, I was like, that's really brave and vulnerable of them to say because I feel like that's something that not a lot of guys will voice. If anything, they mask it with this like macho man, like I'm just not pursuing you because I'm not into you type of thing, where it's actually, from what they were saying, it's like, no, it's actually a certain level of fear of like, I don't want to commit myself to the point where I'm saying these things and they're not, not able to follow through. I like Let's question. answer that question. Yeah. How good. do we view dating? Yeah. Like, how does that look for us? When it comes to dating, I'm definitely looking for a reward at the end. I don't like yeah. wasting my time. Right, right. And what's right. the reward? Like the reward is marriage. That's the end goal. I feel like you should date for marriage. Like anybody that you date, what, what's the purpose of dating mm. if you not, if you just looking to have fun? If that's mm -mm. what you're looking to go out on dates for, I mean, mm -mm. that's cool. But the end goal, you've spent a lot of time with people, all these different energies. You may be having sex. You may not be having sex. What are you creating? Mm. A toxic energy over time and mm. as a man mm. and me personally I don't think it's toxic energy I think it's just experiences you gain experiences you gain knowledge and what you want and what you don't want in a relationship the first relationship you got into they showed you things that you would not ever want again and so you, you and so your next relationship may not have those things and they might show you things that you do want but it's still not the right person so you keep dating I think when you're young, especially in your 20s, you should have fun. I dated not even thinking about long term, not even thinking about marriage, not even thinking about any of that. Whoever I was dating, I was having a great time with. It was nothing else. You move on to the next person when you things don't work out and that's okay. But I think as you get older, I think the end goal would be long term if it's not marriage. 
but I think it depends on your age and where you are in life. It, you just get to the point of you don't, you don't want to continue to feel used like that. You're yeah. using yourself continually because when you start to add sex in with all these different people, I mean, that affects your energy. If you want yeah. those people who big yeah. on that. Hey, just because you're dating doesn't mean, you have, doesn't mean you're having sex with them. Because I sure the fuck was not. There's a selected few that I had that I was intimate with. No, yeah, that's spiritual. Yeah. So I have a question. Is dating the same as a relationship? No. No, no, no sir. No. No. Yeah, no, so no. I don't know if I date for marriage. Exactly. If I had more time to really think about that, I would have thought about it because I know that it was some disagreements on my end because some people date, you know, just to date, not really looking for something right. bigger. Right. Because dating is two different things from a relationship. Because when you really break... Because dating is getting to know the person. That's all it is. Like, you're going on these dates, you're getting to know them a lot more. Like, is this something to pursue later on? When you cross that line to relationship, that means you're taking things more seriously, you're more committed, you're willing to put in the work, hoping that it takes you a little bit further. And who knows where that relationship will take you. Or dating is, is data. Data. And it's like, I'm, I'm, I, I am obtaining data to see <coughs> oh, yeah. if you are the woman that I want to pursue and mm -hmm. court mm -hmm. to now talk about marriage. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like, when I, when I hear you say dating for marriage, I'm like, ah. Right. Dating is, I want to know, okay, can we share energy? Do right. we have the same goals? Can we go somewhere? So I'm like, when I ask the question, what does dating mean? Because I think ladies look at dating differently from guys. And then I look at dating totally different from everyone. I'm like, yo, let's go on a date. <laughs> that doesn't mean that I'm saying that I, I want to be with you. Or you're the only person yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm dating. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I say, right. I, I you can multi-date. Can more than one woman? Yes. <laughs> you, it's okay to date more than one person. You're not committed to anyone. As for me, when I date somebody, I only date one person at a time. I do not have the time and energy to be multi-dating. No, no, no. Clearly. Can you? Okay, so, okay, so, this, this is what I want to hit on. Hold on, hold on. So this is what I want to hit on. You got hold on. Oh, yeah, we're My mama gonna see this. My mama gonna see this. I can't. See, I, Who has I, mean, I need both of y'all to answer how. I am uh, emotional. Right. I can't date one. No, I'm, 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 I'm gonna be honest. I can't. Okay, so. I can't. Uh-oh. You got two. You, you got openly dating. Right, when you're dating multiple people at a time. Okay. And you got exclusively dating when you're just dating that one person. That has to be communicated from mm -hmm. the beginning. Yes, so once y'all go on I that agree. first date, mm -hmm. if it's jumping into a next date, you can either ask that question, what are we doing, or you can just go on a second date. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of people look for titles. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's I'm not one the of most them. important thing. Get to I'm one of them, and I only need those titles because I need to know where I stand in your life in this moment because I ain't gonna be wasting any time, especially at this age. That person before first, before we establish something. So it's a friendship. Why does yeah. it have to be a friendship? Why doesn't it, why can't it just be two people going out? <laughs> my, my, to know titles. each other. Why does it because have to be a label brings already? security for me. I'm like, I want to understand Ooh. what this is. Yes. I want to have clear understanding so that yes. I don't misinterpret okay, anything. Okay, so we can exactly. do that after the first date. All right, so we going on the second date. <laughs> no, no, no. So we going on the second date. Yeah, yeah. We connected. We connected. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying. So if, if we going, if we going on our second date, are we already having a conversation? So hey, is it just me and you dating each other, or are we dating other people? I would already go ahead and communicate. Hey, you know, I'm not really dating anyone else right now. I took a, you know, interest in you because I asked you out on a date. If you would like to go out on a second date, we can definitely do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then y'all have this exclusive thing going on. And then if you continue to date that person and eventually want to get into a relationship, see, because that's the next phase, jumping into a committed relationship, you don't never want to feel obligated, you know, in a relationship. You, mm -hmm. you want to feel like you can mm -hmm. still be free, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So as soon as you add in the relationship title and that committed commitment, you don't have to still feel obligated because you're not married. You just decide to commit to that person. Right? Do so, labels make... I want to know here from the guys, who, do labels make y'all feel uncomfortable? Yeah. Or like titles? Yeah, or like, yeah. like, is this friendship? Is this this? Or if she calls you homie? Or if she calls you... Um, so I never experienced this in my life until recently. The last person I dated... Um, was not comfortable with me wanting labels. As I explained, I just want to know, I just want to have some form of clarity of where I am in her life. That way, I don't 
do anything that she might not like or she might not be okay with. For example, if we're hanging out, we're spending lots of time together, it's, it's, it's been months. To me, I consider that dating. But if she doesn't make that clear, then that means we're not dating, which means we're just having a good time. That means I can go ahead and keep pursuing other interests. Now, you cannot get mad at me if I do that because you did not make it clear to me that we're dating. This is why I need labels. From her perspective, to her, it was just putting a lot of pressure on her and which made her uncomfortable because she wasn't sure where she stood in our situation. Because she wasn't too sure on where we stood, she couldn't just answer me that. She couldn't just give me those labels, which I understand as well. So it's it's confusing, y'all. It's confusing. It's complicated. Well, or boyfriend when we just know each other for two weeks. Don't call me a boyfriend because I'm not a boy and I'm not just, I'm not just a friend, right? Well, well she man. calls you friend. Wait, that's so what do you want her to call you when you're her boyfriend? So, like, my ex-fiance, I never called her my girlfriend. I called her, that's my lady or that's my woman. Okay. Because I, I, I'm not dating a girl. I believe in uh. what I speak is what I see. Mignon taught me that. And so, whatever I say, like, you're not a girl. And none of y'all in here are girls. 